When you start editing HTML and CSS files on a Mac computer, there are lots of different programs that you can download and use. Some of these are free, some of them are premium versions, and I want to run through those uh, for just a moment and show you some things about them. First of all, I've, I've identified here some minimum features that you need to make sure that you use. Now, if uh, there are uh, more experienced web designers uh, watching this video, then understand that my point of view here is for the beginner. I'm only talking about uh, the best features to be used by beginning web designers who are first learning to write HTML and CSS code. I'm very much aware that there are full featured IDE programming environments like Dreamweaver and some others that offer every feature under the sun. The problem is, is that, especially in the way that I teach HTML and CSS code, is that I want the students to learn to be able to write the code from scratch and be able to visually identify errors in their code. Because if they ever use a full featured program that does insert code into a file that is unnecessary or is uh, not uh, coded very well or just has a lot of garbage text in it for some reason, then I want the students to be able to identify uh, the best uh, tool to use. Now before I get into the Mac programs, I, I want to start by showing you these minimal features and talk about what I consider these essential elements. Uh, you just absolutely must have a program that uses line numbering. Uh, this is essential because uh, whenever you go to validate your pages, uh, you're going to get feedback from the HTML and CSS validators that will give you messages like there's an error on line 31. So uh, you're going to need to be able to find line 31 and you certainly don't want to have to manually count them. Uh, also the feedback that you'll be receiving from your instructor will point you to things like you know there's a missing equal sign or something on line 14. Uh, you'll need to be able to identify the line numbers. Line numbering is an essential part of what any code editor needs. Secondly, you need to be able to identify matching tags. This is essential for a beginning programmer because at first all of this code looks like a forest, none of it looks like a tree. And you're going to be able to, you're going to need to be able to go in and make sure that you have matching tags on all of your elements. And I'll point I'll show you that in just a moment. You need to have a at an editor that will color code all of your elements so that you'll be able to see visually uh, what you're looking at. Spell checking is very important so that you'll be able to check the spelling of your uh, assignments before you turn them in. You want to be a, a feature that would be very helpful would be a feature that would allow you to, to compare say the solutions file by the publisher against the file uh, that you've attempted to code. So if you have uh, your file that you have created and then if you're able to compare that against a file that it, it's all correct then you'll be able to go in and find where your errors are. And then lastly a feature that would be very helpful would be a uh, an editor that has a file explorer embedded in it so that you'll be able to navigate to the files and folders that you need directly there within the editor itself. Now some of the features that you might want to avoid as I said are some of those uh, WYSIWYG or what you see is what you get editors. These are the full featured uh, editors that have a, a an embedded browser and the reason I caution beginning students to stay away from those is that you're going to be testing your code against many different browsers and the browser that's within one of these programs like Dreamweaver for instance well that's just one browser and that browser may or may not render your code the same way that it would render in some of the other uh, browsers so it's better to not rely upon an embedded browser and uh, in just create your files, save your files, open your files into various browsers and see how it is that they are rendered there. And then the last element that I want to talk about here is just the one of element tag completion. Don't 
uh, get a program that will automatically um, append your closing tags everywhere they're supposed to be because part of the process in this class is to learn how to write the code and how to identify whenever you have code uh, that's missing. Now these are the essential elements and I'll pull this out of the way and I want to start by showing you here in um, I'm running parallels on this uh, Mac computer and in this parallels version I have a Windows 8 uh, system running and right now we're looking at notepad plus plus and this is in my opinion for beginning programmers this is the Cadillac of all coding uh, editors uh, it has all of the features it has uh, the line numbers it has color coding and it has especially especially it has the feature of being able to identify the matching pair of tag uh, of element tags for instance, if I click here on the closing HTML element, then you'll see that it highlights the matching tag for that, that element. Here is the title element, and title is one of the elements that must have a, a matching closing tag. So if I click on the first one, it highlights the second one. If I click on the second one, it highlights the first one. So I'm able to always click on an element tag and see that the matching pair is there. Now for instance here on body if I take out that matching, I take out the uh, the forward slash on this uh, closing body tag element then if I click on the body I don't get the highlight. So I know that I should get a highlight because there has to be an opening and closing tag. So I know that there's an error. I can come and fix the error and, and see it working. So this is the Cadillac of everything. You can get plugins that allow you to have a, a file explorer over here. It has a spell checker that you can uh, install. And so Notepad++ is the one that I compare all of these others uh, against. Now, along with Notepad++, one of the very best of all of the editors is uh, Komodo Edit. And Komodo Edit is an editor that will run on Mac or Windows or Linux. And so here we see lots of different uh, files that are in directories over here. We have a file explorer. We have uh, elements that uh, are listed and color coded over here. We have line numbers. And if I click on any of these closing tags, they highlight a little differently than they do in Notepad++. For instance, if I click here on the closing HTML tag, then you'll see that the opening HTML tag highlights briefly and then goes away. Same way on title, the matching tag highlights and then goes away. So if I'm watching my code, then I can see that I have the matching pair. Now, the problem might be that when your code gets really long and starts scrolling off the page, then you may have a hard time seeing that color, uh, that color bar pop up. But you can always minimize your, your uh, or collapse your code like this and then be able to come back in and help to see it in this manner. But uh, Komodo Edit is probably the second best of all of the programs. It certainly has a spell checker and a file explorer and all of those other features that I, I talked about. Now, again, I'm showing you both of these on um, here on my, uh, my Windows machine, but uh, the Komodo Edit works exactly the same way on the, uh, on the Mac. Now, there are some Mac specific kinds of uh, editors and of course probably one of the uh, most uh, famous of these it would be the uh, Text Wrangler and Text Wrangler looks like this and so I'll pull it up and we can see that we do have the line numbers we have uh, the color coding but we don't have any way here of matching these tag elements we we're just gonna have to uh, the only way we'd be able to know for sure that we have everything perfect would be to run the page through a validator and then get the validator feedback which of course takes extra steps and the text wrangler is the free version of uh, the BB editor and BB editor looks like this and so here we go. It's 
it is exactly the same thing as the text wrangler except that it's got uh, more bells and whistles more features and you can do some uh, tag matching but it's uh, not nearly as convenient to do as in the Komodo edit or as it is in the um, notepad plus plus program so these are uh, text wrangler and BB edit they're they're great editors they work fine it's just that they they don't have all the features in them that uh, I think that a beginning student ought to have now on the low end there are uh, programs on Mac computers like the text edit program and so here's text edit and you can see we just don't have hardly any features there's no line numbering there's no color coding uh, there's just not really anything this is one of the uh, Apple tools that you can download and it's just really uh, not very helpful uh, at all also on the from the App Store you can get programs like the uh, the taco HTML editor I really like this editor it's uh, pretty cool it doesn't have the tag matching so when I click on these pairs it doesn't highlight but it does have color coding but there are a lot of uh, features in the taco uh, element uh, the taco taco HTML uh, editor uh, that make it uh, a pretty cool editor to use I just don't think it's the best uh, editor for beginning students now also through the App Store you can download onto Mac computers uh, this is the Tincta T-I-N-C-T-A not sure I'm pronouncing that correctly this is from an editor or from a uh, software provider out of Germany called uh, Mr. Fridge F-R-I-D-G-E Mr. Fridge software in Germany and uh, here is his editor and there's a uh, an element I mean uh, an explorer there's uh, highlighting there's line numberings but we don't again have the tag matching and that's the Tincta free version the Tincta Pro is a premium version and you can see it's the same thing uh, it's got a few more features but it doesn't have uh, all of the best features uh, that are needed now lastly from the H from the Mac software I'm going to show you uh, Coda uh, Coda is uh, one of the premium high-end code editors for a Mac computer. It's got lots and lots of tools in it. And here you see the basic code editing screen that has the uh, color coding. It has the line numbers, but again, it doesn't have the uh, the quick and easy feature of being able to highlight an element and find its matching pair. There are ways of finding it otherwise, but you have to go through some hoops in order to get there or you just have to run your code through an HTML uh, editor so for those who don't have the uh, a Windows computer or a ways a way to run notepad plus plus maybe in a virtual environment as you see running here then uh, you're not going to be able to get this really cool feature for new students that's going to enable them to be able to write their code and uh, troubleshoot their code and then be able to run and validate and preview their code and everything as, as well as you can here uh, in Notepad++. So again, if you don't have the ability to run Notepad++, even if it's in a virtual environment like uh, through VirtualBox or what I'm running here is uh, what you see running here in the background is simply uh, Windows 8 running in parallels on my Mac computer and but I could also run any of the Windows programs inside a virtual box so if you don't have that uh, to run then you could uh, at the very least on any of your platforms you could download and use Komodo edit which is the one that comes closest to eight to Notepad++ as far as usability and user-friendliness for uh, first-time or uh, new newbies when it comes to writing HTML code. Hope this uh, tutorial helps.